Hey folks, this is Fritzcar. Hey, how you doing? Welcome back to Green Hell. So we've got our water here. Okay, now I'm confused because we had a load of water in there that was supposed to be filtering down into this one. And quite frankly, I've got 9 of 10 down there. I put 100 water in there. Right, so I'll drink. That's clean water. I put a hundred water in that one at the end of the last episode, and it appears to have all vanished. I spent an entire episode looking for that water, and it's disappeared. It's not how it's supposed to work. This was not how it was supposed to be at all. I do have the coconut bite on there. That one... Oh, I can take water from there, like that. A zero of ten at the moment, and that's ten of forty. So I can use that to fill up. Then I've got peccary meat there. I've got 10 hours left. Now, one other mistake that we did make in last episode was I forgot to cook the jaguar meat. And we did manage to take down the jaguar, which was not an easy task, but we did do it. And I was very proud of the fact that we took down the jaguar. And then, you know, we, we've got no jaguar. That has got 15 hydration in it at the moment. So I'm going to take this bidon right here and I'm going to scoop that out. So I now have 25 hydration. And then I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to go like that, and I'm going to go like that. So that's got five in there. That's empty. That one's now full. This one down here is empty. That takes up to 100, which is pretty good. Um, but what I want to do is I want to go and find a jaguar, kill it, bring back the meat, and cook it so that we can see what jaguar meat is like, because we haven't actually done that yet. Uh, but before we go, I'm just wondering, did I... I don't think I need to worry about lighting a fire at the moment, to be honest. I, I don't think it actually matters. I've got a boiled egg there that's got several days left. Um, our current... We could do the bit of water. We could do some carbs and some fats. Uh, I'm going to eat this one. So I'll eat you because we need the energy. I don't need any more proteins now. Protein is full. Fat is not full. But that one's still got 10 hours on it. So we're all right on that. I think we don't need to worry too much about it. I could make some bone soup because, uh, well, I've got a bone there. I'm not going to, though. What I'm going to do is I'm going to drop that bone down here, and we'll do that another day. And I'll go into here, into the back, because we've got our wooden spoon back here. And I'm going to leave that bite on there. And this one here with the water, I'm going to take that with us. And then the protein, we've got the fats in there. So it's just carbs we could do with and a little bit of extra water. Water is going to be easy enough. No, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to do this. Water is going to be simple enough. Actually, what time is it? Something we could look at. 11. Okay, we're fine for time. Um, yeah, we just want water and some fats and then carbs. Now, is there any bananas on our banana trees? Yes, there is. Excellent. Bananas are good. No space. Really? All right, if I put you over there, that should create a bit of space. There we go. Three bananas. Four bananas. And these are 25 carbs apiece. So if I eat these, the 75, that is 100 carbs. That gives us all the way full. I think, I'm starting to think that 100 is the full amount that's that's as much as we can take so i'll go through here and i will drink this four five six and seven that should take us now to full water the only thing we need is a little bit of fat which i can get not from that snake let's leave that one alone uh the fat i can get from oh, i got empty coconut bowls here we'll do something with those we can when, when we come back we're not gonna worry about them now um <laughs> fat i can get from these don't need to worry about water, so I can just pop them open. Eat, and that is 10 fat and 5 carbs. So there's 20 fat that I've had. Do that again. There we go. Eat that one and eat that one. That makes 40 fats that I've now consumed. Everything is now absolutely maxed out. So we switch over to our spear. Now, if... This thing respawns in roughly the same place that it was last time. It'll be just down here. 
Uh, we still haven't killed and eaten. Well, we have eaten mouse meat. We haven't killed a lizard yet. We haven't been able to kill a lizard. We found a dead mouse, but we haven't killed one ourselves. Um, ooh, whoa, that was close. That was very close. I'm gonna I'm gonna take that one out and we'll harvest that one. It's a little bit of extra meat there, mainly because I don't like these things. I do not like the rattlesnakes. But no, I'd like to be able to kill another jaguar. If I can take down a jaguar, it's um, not so much for the fact that we're taking down the jaguar. It's the meat. I want the meat. There was one around here that we heard. Uh, oh, I've got no space for carrying them. So whether or not it comes back again. Now, in this one here, I'm not interested in the maggots, but the bones, definitely. Definitely want to be picking up those bones. Now, uh, see, there's a mouse right there. If I harvest that one, we get a little bit of mouse meat, which we will take back and cook. Um, we've had parrot meat beforehand. But there's no... Jaguar here now. So the one that was here is now disappeared. Right. So there was another place that we found a Jaguar previously that there may be one this time. And that was up this way. I went, I remember we went, when we went looking for our big iron cook pot, we came up this way. We followed this hill all the way up through. So I want to, I want to go back along this way first. We followed that we went up the hill. And then as we were going down the other side of the hill, so it was through here, we came over to this point about here. There's a great spider there. We don't want to get close to those. And it was along this way. We went up here. And then as we were heading down the hill on the other side, we came to a road. We, un we found a road here. We got to that road, and it was from there... That we actually encountered a jaguar. And I'm wondering if there's still one there. Because we didn't actually kill that one. So I want to be looking here. And we want to go here. So the point is 51 west and 28 south. So kind of southwest. We want to be heading southwest. No. Uh, yeah. 28 south. 51 west. We want to be. It's, it's literally southwest that we wanted to be heading. Have I gone completely the wrong way? I don't think so. I think I need to go along here. Another snake over there. Which I will ignore. And head along this way. I think this is the way that we want to go. Right, so we're going due north at the moment. Which is completely the wrong direction. But then we come on round this way. And it starts heading more west again. Is it... I'm hoping that I've remembered this right. Or did I start out going in a different direction at the beginning of it? Not really sure. We're just sort of following along with this bit here at the moment. I don't think... No, I, I did. I did come this way. This this was the original route that I took. So, uh, southwest. We want to go southwest because we need to go 28 south. So, I need to keep going south. And then west, I want 51 west. So, we want to go that way as well. So, I, just, I need to get close to that cliff there. And it was somewhere, because that was the first point that I made a note of, which was our first, like, main home, which was the old drug dealer's camp. Right. I know that you can eat people if you want to. And I have been set a challenge for eating people at some point and only eating people. That is a challenge I'm more reluctant to do, to do than most other challenges. There is a capybara that I'm hoping to actually be able to take down. Because I haven't taken one down yet. Huh. Right, well I'm not taking it down just yet. Let's just keep going along like this. Maybe I can take it out. There. They're very nervous creatures and I'm not able to get very close to them. And I kind of need to get close-ish. Gotta take one of those down. Yes. Yes. Right. Now, I know there is one here somewhere. Where is he? There we go. Right. Now, we've, it's all in the timing. He's not going to run away. 
but we've got to make this shot count. There, yeah, we did it! We did it! We did it! We took it down again! We took it down! We used the spear and it worked! Right, harvest! Now, we can harvest this guy. We've got two raw jaguar meat. Next, I want a capybara and it would appear that trying to take a capybara with a spear is not necessarily going to work. They're smaller than a pig. Pig takes two arrows. So I'm hoping that maybe we can do this with a single arrow. One capybara for one arrow. We've got to go carefully through the underbrush until we can find said capybara. No. I thought that was one, but it's not. It's an ant's nest. Don't go close to the ant's nest. They are problems. They are re very, very problematic. Let's just take a look in here, see what space we've got. We should still, we've got mouse meat there. Right, it's looking good so far. Where are the capybaras? There's a river down here. It actually would have been quite easy to find. I, the amount of time I've spent in the last episode looking for that. Right, if I can go slow, there's capybara there. Um, do it like that, haven't I? <gasps> missed. I don't know if I missed or if it scared it off. Capybara is up there on the cliff top. I see an arrow down here. You can see it running on the spot. There. So I'm going to try and take it from back here. <gasps> Got it! Right, I don't know if I missed the first time and it did take two shots or if we just happened to get lucky and it um, glitched. I think the other arrow is back there and it took... Well, it only took one shot. But there's a bee's nest here somewhere. I'm not quite sure where that is. Let's harvest you. Let's see what we get. Probably get some bones. Uh, no space for the meat. When the, we've not had, we, can, we haven't got space for that either. Right. Uh, got a lot of bones in here. No space for them at the moment. But I can actually, I can move these, I can move things around a little bit. I think. I tell you what. Dry leaf. I don't need. I don't know what that noise is next to me. Not the, not the bees. Them I don't really care about. But there is a noise. of something stalking around. And I don't know what that is. It's making me nervous. Now, capybara meat. There's no room for it. I do have the cooked peccary meat that I've got to eat in a couple hours. So I can put another one of those in there. Mouse meat doesn't move. No, I don't want that. Uh, capybara meat there. Right, I've got no... I don't have the space for it. I've got... How many have I got? One, two... I've got three of them. So I, I, I'm pretty much full. Uh, I've also got something on me. I'm going to drink this. 33 hydration. So that's all of my hydration completely full. And let's have a look here. I only need carbs, so I don't really want to eat anything else for a minute because it's just going to be a waste of food and everything else. Um, the coconut bite on, I'm going to leave that one behind and then I'm going to take the capybara meat because that one doesn't matter. I do just want to do an inspection. So let's just quickly inspect. We have got a few of these little beasties on us. There we go. Right, they're taken care of. The bees, I'm going to ignore those. And I'm, actually, I'm going to, no, I'm going to bring that one up, our spear. And it was down here. There's another capybara. We can leave that one now because we've got some capybara meat. I shot one more arrow over this way. Nope, there's a small stick. Uh, stick. I'm thinking that that arrow is gone. I think we've lost that arrow. So all I need to do now is get home. And that 
should be fairly simple. I think if we, we just want to go this way and then I want to keep this wall here on my left. Uh, sorry, my right, because that's my right. I, I get confused between right and left, apparently. Apparently, I can't even tell the difference between those anymore. Um, we're going to keep it on our right-hand side, which would be better. It would probably help us find our way home a little bit easier. Oh, no, I'm full of those as well. And get back to our base. That's going to be the next thing. Then we can start cooking all of these meats. We don't want to go straight to sleep because... Um, yeah, that's the bad, bad things happen if we go straight to sleep, like all the meat goes rotten, which is, we really, really don't want that to happen. Um, I'm going to have to keep a bit of an eye out for snakes and stuff like that, because I know there's going to be a few of them around. And stumbling around in the dark is not the best way to avoid them. Ooh, how long have you been, no, don't take, uh, expand harvest. That's going to give me a load of feathers, unfortunately, and... Oh, the macaw meat. There isn't a... Yes, there is. There's room right there for it. Why is it telling me that I can't take it? Seems a bit odd. The feathers here, I don't want them. Uh, arrows, I've got nine arrows. So I don't... I really have no use for feathers at the moment. Still don't know why it's telling me that i got ten feathers. Nine feathers on me. So I've obviously got feathers somewhere. I'm just not quite sure where. Now, if you press T for the walkie-talkie, which is the, the bit that you find out in the very beginning, like the first part of the, the game that you do. But I've still not had T coming up to, to give me anything. We've got a spider there that I don't want to walk on. Let's go past that one. And I still need to keep an eye out for snakes. Should be just... Oh, actually, now I'm lost. Right-hand side. I've got to keep this cliff. Keep to the cliff and we're all right. Take these. That one. I got another bee. There's another bees hive. Bees hive. No, another lot of bees. Another bee hive. Bees nest. Be the, uh, if you're going to use a plural. Uh, oh, there. There's where it would be. Right on that tree there. So, uh, I can see them. If I switch over to the hatchet, actually I'll switch to the knife. There we go. That's what I want to do. I want to go like that, and then I want to throw a stone. I'm not going to throw that knife, am I? I'm going to switch over to that. Is it going to make me throw that instead? It did. It made me throw my axe. I thought that you just through stones. Oh dear. Uh, right, I, no, I'm not supposed to be bitten. Fuck off me. Eat. Just eat that. The, the, the bees are not supposed to be on me. That that wasn't part of the master plan. Um, I thought that was a snake there for a minute. It's not. Right, I've got a rash, which is giving me sanity minus three, but I'm actually almost home. I have don't imagine you can see, I can't see very much, um, and I'm aware that the videos actually come out slightly darker than what the, the main game is, so you probably can't see very much at this point. But we're getting back, we've still got enough energy to light a fire. I haven't found the tribal fire starter yet, which is another thing that we need to look for. Um, and if I do an inspect, let's have a look at what this, oh, the rash is now gone. I was gonna say I want to have a look for the rash for the from from the bees, but that that seems to have disappeared. Okay, we are wanting to light a fire. So first up, we want to go to there. We want small fire, and I'm gonna put that right over those ashes there. Oh, okay, it's gonna make me pick up those campfire ashes. I put all of that in there like that, and then we go to here, and we go hand drill use. Like this, and I'll go back over here because I want to use up some of these dry leaves rather than the um, nest that we've got. Now, this uses quite a bit. We use about 50% energy just under that, maybe. There we go. So we've lost a little bit of sanity due to that rash, but we don't need to worry about it too much. We're now doing okay. We've got some macaw meat, which has got 17 hours left. The mouse meat's got 12 hours. Rattlesnake is 12 hours. The jaguar is 14, and the capybara is 15. 
We will start off by cooking one mouse meat over there and one macaw meat over there. And we will see what we get from those. Just press F a minute. We're good for everything except maybe water. Water is a little bit low, but we can just do that and that. And water is almost definitely now going to be absolutely fine. Yes. Um, so we want to start cooking these and we want to see what we get from the various different foods and stuff. The nuts they keep for several days. I've got that one. They've still got a good two days on it. Capybara meat. Rattlesnake meat cooks quite quickly. So, I've got mouse meat right there. It's cooked mouse meat. I can't actually pick it up at all. Oh, yes, I can. I can just put it there with the raw stuff. Right, that's that's um, that's um, that's a good way to do it. Yeah. Why, do, why didn't I think of that? Just mix raw and cooked together. Of course, that's the best way to do it. Let's move these nuts up there a minute. Uh, the fruits, I'm going to eat those because, you know, they don't last very long. A couple of little extra carbs. That'll just keep us going. Just ticking along. And we can move. Right, I can't move that. So what I'll have to do is if I drop that on the ground a minute, then I can move that up by one place. And then I can pick that up and I can move it there. And then the jaguar meat... Right, I've got to drop it down and then put it back here. I can put it there. I don't get what it's doing. I've now got... Is it moved it over? What's it done? Is it put it into... It's, it seems to have vanished. I put it in... Uh, no. Did it go into one of those? No. Does anybody know? It came up with a thing there, and now it seems to have lost the jaguar meat. It's vanished. That's a bit odd. Rattlesnake meat. We got macaw meat there, and the mouse meat. That's got two days. That's two days. Uh, I'll put down some capybara meat there. I, I, I don't really get what just happened, but it appears that the jaguar meat has just bugged slightly and vanished. Um, which has left me feeling slightly confused. I, I I don't really know what happened there. I picked I put it down and picked it up, and it's now gone. It'll probably turn up next time we play the game again. Right. Uh. Well, th those are cooking anyway. So, rattlesnake meat is twelve protein and five energy, and then macaw meat is twelve protein and ten energy instead of just five, which is so slightly more. 12 protein and 5 energy from mouse meat. So mouse meat is actually identical to rattlesnake meat. We've got capybara meat now is cooking on the fire. And we've got the jaguar meat there, which we haven't done anything with yet. So I'm going to eat that. 36 protein and 15 energy from jaguar meat. That's pretty good. That is pretty good. I'd, I'd say that we'd struggle to do any better than that. One thing we don't have is a way to keep the meat any longer. Um, you know, we, we, it lasts for two days, and that's, that's all we've got. And there doesn't seem to be anything in the game at the moment that allows us to keep it for any longer than that, which is a bit of a shame. I think it would be quite cool if there was, like, a facility to be able to just add in a little bit more, just to, um, like, you know, some, some kind of storage system for food so that we could store stuff much longer. I suppose if I got rid of a load of these, like, dump them down in our base here, then I wouldn't need to worry about them. Um, but they're my emergency rations. I hold them because, you know, they're for emergencies. Capybara, see, we haven't actually done anything with that yet. So let's just eat one of those to see what we get. Whoa! 68 protein, 20 fat, 15 energy. Capybara meat seems to be... The creme de la creme of all meats is even better than the peccary meat, the pig meat that's out there. Those small pigs. The capybaras are even better than those. That is, that was like genuinely, I'm really surprised at just how much they, um, that we got from that. That was actually really cool. Gonna sleep for a little while. I'm hoping that that stuff doesn't burn, so I'm not gonna sleep for the entire night. I'm going to give myself uh, just a few hours. We'll wake up now. So I've had like half a night's sleep. So we should have burned capybara meat there and cooked capybara meat there. 
So what does ha what happens if we eat the the burned stuff? Burned right there. Unknown. Eat. Ah, uh, sanity. You lose a little bit of sanity, but the rest of it you keep. And yeah, so then we got the rest of our stuff here. So that, that's fine. And then we got a load of bones here. We better make soups out of those. I've got a few sticks left from lighting the fire. So I'm going to just use our middle of the night awake time. I did say about this in a previous video where um, people used, it, it used to be like a common thing where you had just awake time in the middle of the night. It's just, you, you woke up, um, it was a normal thing to do because you go to bed fairly early, wake up in the middle of the night, and then you would um, stay awake for a couple of hours and then go back to sleep again. And it's just sort of a, something that everybody did. And it was so normal that you wouldn't actually... It, it's difficult to find too many references to it in literature. Um, but anyway, I, I did talk about this previously. So um, it's, it's in an older video. I don't remember which one. Um, uh, but uh, yeah, so we, we're having our awake time at the moment. I'm just going to run around and gather a little bit of firewood. And I suppose it would be slightly unusual to have your awake time by running around outside. Um... I don't really know. I mean, we, we know that um, the reason that the monks used to have prayers at like 6 p.m. and then prayers again at 11.30 until midnight is because the 11.30 till midnight prayer time was purely to coincide with the awake time. They would go to sleep and then they'd wake up and they would say their prayers and then they'd go back to bed again. Um, so that's kind of what we're doing. We're just gathering a little bit of wood for our fire. Stoking the fire up again so that we've got warmth the rest of the night. And then we'll go back to sleep. Finish our night's sleep after we've had our awake time. Let's put all of these sticks into... Oop, no, not like that. There. And a small stick as well. There we go. Now we will go and finish our night's sleep on our log bed over here. There. And we'll wake up at about 8am. That's looking pretty good. There we go. Right, we'll stoke the fire up again. A few more sticks. I'll take some of the small sticks on here as well. Like that. Um, there we go. Because I get, I get loads of all of the sticks, don't I? Right. That's that bit done. And if I go here, let's see what we want for breakfast. I, only We only really need a little bit of anything, really. So we'll go for some mouse meat there. And that has proteins up to maximum. This one here is fat, so I'll eat that one. So I don't need to worry about the egg at the moment. These have all got well over a day left on each of them. The capybara meat, there's 68 proteins. That is just stunning. And we could do with something to give us a little bit of carbs. And I'm pretty sure when I was wandering around here last night... One of the banana trees had some bananas on it. Uh, I think it was one up here somewhere, wasn't it? Do you remember seeing which tree had the bananas on? There was one of them. I'm certain one of the trees had bananas on it. I don't think... No, it, it definitely it wasn't down there, was it? It was up here. I thought it was maybe that one, but it doesn't look like it. Surely they wouldn't fall off it that quickly. It's a bit higher up. Well, that's a young tree there, so it's not gonna—it's not gonna be the young ones. Uh, it seems a little bit too far up now. Th these are all small trees, young trees. They wouldn't have them. We've got the unknown fruit there, which apparently you can make into some kind of soup. But I thought it just gave you food poisoning, so I, I didn't really want to mess around with that one. Not at the moment, anyway. Let's keep having a hunt around. There's there's got to be a banana tree here somewhere, so we can get some carbs. Because, quite frankly, I'm getting a bit fed up with eating coconuts all the time. It'd be nice to have just a small bit of variety in our diet. But no, it would appear that the bananas have um, already disappeared. That's a shame. And they're not around here. Maybe they were on that tree then. Nope. No bananas. Right. What else am I going to make? Oh. Looking right at them. Is this the ones? I only need a couple. I only want two of them. There. You and you. Right. So that has now put that up to max. Bird's nest. Bird feather. Leave that. I don't need it. Down here, we will have a little drink. 
fill all of these up to maximum like that. And uh, coconut road that we got going on over here. Oh, actually, in order to be able to pick up more coconuts, I'm going to want to clear some of these bones out. We put these back in our base so that they are out of the way. And we'll worry about... And then, then we can go and pick up some of the, the, um, the coconuts because we've got quite a few of those lying around. So I put the bones out here so they're ready for making a load of soup later on. They, they do make good soup. Okay, now I'm bone stacking. <laughs> Bone stacking is my new thing. Look at this. I'm quite pleased with that. I'm actually quite pleased that it hasn't fallen over. Seriously impressed that that hasn't... Now, I've try and do this again. It's, it's going to... Right, we need to go up this way a little bit. Oh. Well, it works just now. It was, it was doing all right to start with. We did have our bone stacking. We're going to... See, I want to make some more things. We, we've got more things that we want to do. The grill rack... I wonder if we could do... Maybe we should do the grill rack in here. Maybe we could do... Like, build one of these actually on our... In our base in here. So, if I'm going to build that one, I want to... I got a pile of timber there. It's all in the wrong place. But that is, like, trying to fit around the fire. So, really, I want to put that one there, I'd say. Because it, it's not allowing me to place it anywhere else. I can rotate it round. That seems to be the best spot for it about there. Campfire required. Yeah. So it's not registering campfire unless I put it about there. Should I try that? Let's do it. Um... Yeah, I, I don't know. All right, we'll put it there. We'll, we'll do that. So I need long stick. Long. I need six long sticks for that one to work. I got a couple long sticks out here, so I'm going to have to get a couple more. And then we've got a grill rack inside. We're, I do want to build a smoke rack as well, but we'll do that one outside and do it somewhere else. Uh, there's a small one here. I'll cut that one down. And we'll use this tree right here. So that's going to get us four branches all together, I think. Yeah, we get some long ones there. We'll pick up these logs first and we'll put those somewhere else. There, get you two, right? And these come down here to our main log pile. We've got the big log pile down here. So drop you down there so that you're ready for more work later on. And then I want to pick you up and you up. Long sticks. A load of smaller sticks there that don't currently matter. And then I got these two over here. So I'll grab you as well. So there's four long sticks that we got. I'll bring these into here, into the base. There, long stick, long stick. Do those two on each side. One over that side. Now I need two more in the middle. And then we've got our grill. I think I will need some ropes as well just to finish off the grill rack. That's fine. We can do that. So I actually want to come up here and I'd say that one seems like a suitable one. Let's chop you down. And then once we've got this, that is our grill rack fully installed, which we'll be able to... Let's not chop it onto our own head. So I got a, I got a bigger log there. Where'd the rest of the timber go? Stick. There's a long stick. There's a log there. If I, like, dropped the other long sticks... Ah, there it is. I knew there'd be another one. Right, we'll take these down here. Beat through the underbrush. Bring you down here. And that is the last two that we need for the grill rack. One in there and one in there. And then we want a rope on that end and a rope on that end. There we go. So we've got a grill rack all nicely cooked. So next up, are we able to... Yes! Put that up. Where, what, why are you cooking? That's where the Jaguar meat went. Meat soup. Went in there. Drink. 40 protein, 5. That's where the other jag... That's where it went. It went in there. Um, there's more meat soup in there as well. So I can I can leave the pot up on top of there now. And what I can do is I can take that. Tip the water in. Like that. And then move you over this way. And bring you over as well. 
tip that water in and bring you over this way. Drop you down and move you over a little bit more. There we go, like that. So that one there, that's got 20 out of 30. So then I can come over here. I can take a bone like that and I can drop that into there and make a tasty and nutritious soup. But that is the mystery of where the jaguar meat went. And I was looking in the bowl, but it appears once you drop it into the bowl, we weren't able to remove it, which is a bit of a shame, but still. Right, bone brew, right there, 15 protein, 10 fats, 20 hydration, that's excellent, that's all done. And then we go back here, we can't actually put it on there at the moment, but we do have the grill. Um, I think the pot can just stay up there. Well, actually, no. I want to. I, I don't want to leave the pot up there because if I leave it down there, every time it rains, the pot will fill itself up with water, which would be a better thing to do. Anyway, I kind of run out of time for today's episode. In our next episode, I am planning to do a bit more uh, decorating and stuff around the base. Uh, one thing of which I want to gather up a whole load more of the coconuts. And we'll continue on with our little yellow brick road out here. I also want to build a smoker. And there's, I think, a couple of other little shelters that we want to build as well that we'll get to. But uh, we'll get to all that next time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.